Hi everyone, I can juggle. And in this lesson, I'm going to tell you how to use the word can in English. Hi everyone. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk about the word can. Can has several different meanings in English and I'm going to tell you about the most important ones. So by the end of this video, you will know the different ways to use can. Let's start with number one. We use can when we want to explain something that we know how to do. For example, I can speak English. It means I know how to do it. We can also use can as a question when we want to know if someone knows how to do something. Let me ask some questions using can for one of my students. Can you speak Thai? Yes, I can. Can you speak Chinese? No, I can't. So when we say the negative answer, we usually shorten can up to the short form which is can't, can't. Can you speak English? No, I can't. Okay, salap gan, it's time for us to turn around, change over, and I'm going to answer some questions. Can you cook? Yes, I can. Can you dance? Yes, I can. Are you sure? Yes, I'm I sure. I think you can. Sure. I can dance. Can you ride a bike? Yes, I can. Can you comb your hair? <laughs> no, I can't. I don't have any hair anymore. Thank you anyway for your question. So now I want to tell you about another meaning of can and it's not the same. When I say I can do something, I can may mean it's possible for me to do something, it's convenient. It's not always about ability or knowing how to do something. Let me try and illustrate by giving an example. Can you drive? Yes, I can. Can you drive me to work tomorrow? No, I can't. You can see in the first question, can you drive? I'm asking her if she knows how to drive. When I ask her, can you drive me to work tomorrow? I'm asking whether it's possible, whether it's convenient, or simply whether she actually wants to do it. This is the second meaning of can, which means it's possible to do something. Now I want to tell you about using the past tense of can. And the past tense of can is could. If I say I could do something, then I'm talking about something in the past. And the idea is that I can't do it now. For example, I could run very fast when I was young. And the inference is, I can't run fast now, I'm too old. I could use the negative of could. And in this case, I'm talking about something I did not know how to do before. Mm, I couldn't speak Thai when I first came to Thailand. And that tells you that I can speak a little bit of Thai now. Let me use some more questions with my student. Tell me something you couldn't do. 
But you can do now. I couldn't drive my bike. And how about something that you could do, but you can't do now? Something you could do before. I could do handstand when I was young. And there's one more use of can, which is very common. And I want to tell you about it. In fact, it's a time when using can or could has the same meaning. This is when you want to make a request or ask for something. For example, can you close the door, please? Or you could say, could you close the door, please? And in this instance, can and could have the same meaning. In fact, some people say that could sounds a little bit more polite and a little bit more formal as well. And I would love to hear from you to tell me what you can do. Something special. I'm sure you can speak English. Most of my subscribers can speak Thai, but tell me something special, something different that you can do. Tell me in the comment section below. Maybe I'll give a prize to the most interesting answer. So, thank you very much for listening to today's lesson. I hope you can speak English better after watching this lesson. And let me ask you one final question. Can you subscribe to my channel, please? Could you subscribe to my channel, please? That would be very good indeed. But for today, thank you for listening. See you again next time. Bye bye. If you like that lesson, take a look at another one. And if you're a company in Bangkok, why not try a free lesson at your office? Just write to us at the email on the screen now.